gee, I don't know where you were going with this, but... I can tell you. Well, go ahead. Well, the point I was just trying to make is that everybody has their opinions about what's what, but this gentleman was coming from the fact that he was... The reason why I started talking about it and the new revelation of what we're finding through the researchers from what McLam has uncovered, Dr. Orley Tate and a few other people, that presumptually those of us on the outside, except for you guys that get these experts, we have to take your word for it. So we presumptually think that what you guys find out is true, but I can understand, God bless this guy, he's a really nice guy. Uh, he, he said it's all, he said what we know is all propaganda. Oh. So, I mean... Uh, and, just, and, where, and, 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 and versus where he's been getting his information that they haven't been talking about it at all. He doesn't believe that our government is that corrupt or could uh, ever be. Uh, see, that's what I was going well, to Well, he might be a nice guy, but w w was he in the Three North section of the Veterans Hospital? No, no. Okay. No, he's just a regular guy like us, mm. and he just has his presumption. Uh, but what he did do is play the race card, not not to me and, and, you know, for a definite hardcore position. But he said, oh, no, no, there's no way. He's a citizen. He's, his father is from uh, is an American, this yeah. and that. Well, and, okay, well, J.G., we can go on for another 20 minutes like this. But, you know, I mean, I mean people's perceptions depends on where they get their information. And, and obviously, if the guy doesn't want to take a critical look, and, and re research it himself. He's just in total denial that uh, we don't have a corrupt government. And no, Barack Obama's a cool guy. You know, and he, it's just a race thing because people are upset because he was black. And we just spread yep. these rumors because we didn't want a black guy in the White House. That's what basically he was saying. Well, but yeah. I, I just want okay. approval that, uh, so we're not hallucinating supposedly about what we know. Yeah. I mean, I we're not, but I mean, I, I, it's just I've become so disillusioned to keep telling people about what we know. I'm just tired of it. Well, choose, choose a different subject, JG. Talk to him about the banks. Tell him something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we covered that. But he's all in it. You know, yeah. he said, and we, we started talking about the globals, and he said, well, you know, actually, he said, I'd probably do what they did. And he says, I, 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 I'm he's, tired of the government screwing me. Yeah. Well, and you know what? Keep talking, and you'll find somebody that uh, cast your seeds on fertile ground, but you're not going to know that until you talk to him. And, and many times, gentlemen, I'm sure you've had the same experience, Bob and Robbie. You know, you'll talk to somebody, they think you're full of monkey milk, but you <laughs> you planted a seed, and only they come back sometimes months, years later, and go, you know what, I remember this conversation I had with you, and you were right. I get these emails all the time. You know, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say to a caller like J.G. I mean... People want to live in their illusions. There's stuff that they don't want to think or contemplate because it upsets their paradigm. It, it becomes the boogeyman or too scary for them. You know, I mean, hey, keep talking and keep walking. That's the only thing I can say. By the way, what has worked rather well, uh, people have snapped to this, and thank you for doing it. Uh, we have generic RBN cards that have been made out. You know, I mean, you can cast your pearls before swine, but you don't know who the pig with the lipstick on is on until you cast <laughs> cast that. But at any rate, call us here at the network, folks, 800-724-2719. Get the generic business cards. If you've got a favorite host or a favorite time the, sh the show is on, they can go in even to the archives for free, but they can listen free online. Get the cards, 8 bucks a 100 okay? We pay for the shipping on it. It's almost 3 bucks. But take advantage of this. Spread the cards. It is a multiple of numbers. You're going to find the deadheads, but you're going to find the people that snap to it. These are going to be our friends and allies and supporters tomorrow. And we're going to need every man on deck. Gentlemen, thank you. Robbie Noel's coming up here on the flip side, 6 to 7, Monday through Friday at Central Time. And Mr. Chapman, thank you for your continued endeavors in trying to wake up people as well. Well, thank you for having me. I enjoy it every week. I, I do as well. And I hope the listeners, well, they vote with their phone calls. Robbie, thanks. Thanks, guys. All righty. See you tomorrow, folks. Another edition of the National Intel Report.